hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to change the background and text color of the selected checkbox or row in a table and here we got a final output now I'm selecting the employee name Chris and notice we got a background color is blue and the text color is white go in Jack Charan if I unselect see the background color and the text color has been removed if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new MVC application go to file new project I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is MVC row color change javascript is a project name click ok and from the templates I'm selecting MVC4 click ok And here the project has been created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project I am adding a new entity data model. Right click the project name. Go to add. New item. I am selecting the data from Visual C Sharp. And I am selecting ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The data model name is EMP model. Click add. And from the model contents, I'm choosing the first option EF Designer from database. Click next. I'm creating a new database connection, new connection. I'm adding a SQL server name is After adding a server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database name is a sample DB. Test connection is succeeded. OK. Click OK. And here is a connection string. The connection string name is a sample DB entities. Click next. And from the database objects, I'm expanding the tables as well as the DBO. The table name, I'm selecting the EMP table. After that, make sure the three checkboxes are tick, then click finish. And here we got the entity model of the EMP table. Now the next step, open Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references folder. Now I am creating a new controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers. Click add controller. I am selecting MVC for controller empty. Click add. The controller name is EMP. EMP. Add. And here we got our controller also. Now in this action result index method. I'm adding the sample DB entities, which is our connection string name. SD is equals to new sample DB entities. Is object SD is the object. After that, I'm creating a variable. Variable data table is equals to SD dot EMP tables dot to list method. After that, I'm adding view back to fetch the records. View back dot EMP details is equals to. I'm adding this variable name data table semicolon. That's it. We have written the simple code to fetch the records. Now we require the index view page 
to display the records. So before create the index view page, the most important we need to build the project first. Go to build, build solution. And here we got a message in the output window, build succeeded. Let's close this output message box. Now it's time to create the view page for this index action result. Highlight the index method, right click that one. Add view. The view name is index only and the template empty without model because we don't have any model here. So click add. And here we got our index view page also. Now let's delete this default header tag. Instead of that, I'm adding the center tag h1 how to change the background and text color of the selected checkbox row in a table using jQuery in MVC horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding a table element table table let's add the border of this table border is equals to 1 dr in tr I'm adding the table headers th the table headers in our table we have five columns employee id employee name designation department and joining date let's add those headers and the id EMP name designation department and the last one is a joining date join date after adding the headers in this table now let's bind the employee details into this table for that I'm using for each row at for each I'm creating a variable EMP item in I'm getting the details from the EMP controls via view bag I'm using view bag dot EMP details let's add that one here in this for each loop I'm adding TR the td the td at emp item dot the column name the first column name is a emp id we need to add the same column names emp id copy this one the second one is a emp name and is capital The third one is a designation D I. Designation and the fourth one is a department. And the last one is a joining date. Now before adding a new column for the checkbox controls to this table and the jQuery snippet to change the background and text color of the selected row in this table, let's check the output this EMP details table is binded to this table or not. Now before run this application, the most important we need to change the controller name in the route config.cs file. Let's open that one. 
and notice in the route.config file the controller name is a home which is a default one let's delete that one our controller name is emp controller this one emp and the action result is an index view page on this one now let's run this program google chrome and here we got the output of that code and notice the emp details table is binded into this table now my next target is let's add a new column with a checkbox control switch to the visual studio and stop debugging now in the for each loop in the tr before employee id i'm adding a new td input type is equals to checkbox and value is equals to I'm adding at item.emp id let's close the checkbox control now after adding a checkbox column now let's add the table header th select the select header is a column name for the checkbox column now let's check the output the checkbox column is added to this table or not i'm reloading the browser link and notice here we got a new output with the checkbox column now my last task is when a user select any particular row select the checkbox row i want to change the background and text color of the selected checkbox row using jquery when we are implementing jquery functionality the first thing we require the latest jquery cdn line for that let's open search for jquery cdn latest google and from the search results i'm selecting the hosted libraries In Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery. Select that one. Here you can find the different jQuery CDN versions. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Let's copy this snippet and add in our project. I'm adding after the table. After that, I'm adding a script tag. Now inside the script, I'm adding the jQuery functionality, the selected checkbox row, the background and text color change. Dollar will be double quotes. Input type is equals to checkbox dot on function. Between single quotes, the on function I'm adding the even name is a change comma function let's close with semicolon here now in this on function i'm adding the if condition if dollar this dot the property i'm adding between single quotes checked Here in this if condition, if a user select the checkbox control, I want to change the background and text color. Dollar this dot. I'm adding the parent function. Dot parent function. Dot. I'm adding the CSS styles. CSS. Put in single quotes. Background color comma between single quotes i'm adding blue color so when you use a select the checkbox control the background color will be blue and the font color instead of adding the same code i'm pasting here just i'm deleting the background color i'm adding the color is white the text color will be white the 
else part. If a user unselects the checkbox control, I want to remove this CSS tiles. Let's copy this one. Paste here. Remove the background color blue and white. That's it. We have implemented the jQuery functionality. The selected checkbox row from this table, the background color will be blue and the text color will be white. Let's check the output. I'm reloading the browser link. And here we got a final output. Now I'm selecting the employee name Chris and notice we got a background color is blue and the text color is white. Go in Jack Charon. If I unselect, see the background color and the text color has been removed. That's it.